Hello and welcome back to another video from Real Therapy Fishing. It's uh, been a bit of a cold, wet, windy week um, this week, so uh, not a lot of fishing has been done. Um, so I thought, well, what better to be doing than uh, to come into the boathouse and show you guys how to tie another rig. Um, it's been a long time since I've shown you that, so um, yeah, let's get into it. Um, I'm going to be showing you today how to make the Portland rig. Um, this is a very, very deadly rig for wreck fishing or uh, for either rough ground fishing. Um, it's a, basically like a single hook flapper, um, but the hook actually moves up and down, which uh, I can show you that obviously once we start making it. So let's get on to the equipment. Um, first of all, we've got beads, as you can see there. We've got the trusty swivels. Some form of lead link, um, I like these ones best, they're very very strong um, and yeah some of the best that I've found online. A hook, depending on what you're targeting with this rig, um, you could go for something massive. Um, this is just a six so for filming purposes because it's quite big um, and you guys can obviously see it fairly easy. But yeah you can go six o, uh, three o, whatever you're targeting, bass, you can go circle hooks, yeah whatever you feel like. Um, using for your rig. So got some weak link line, um, this is just cheapo, um, 20 pound line. Uh, yeah, you can use whatever you want. 20, 30, as long as it's gonna break off. And the ultimate Asso Ultraflex, um, this is 60 pound line. Uh, you wanna make sure your weak link line is uh, no stronger than your main line. So obviously your lead will snap off, which we'll show you that in a bit. Tool wise, I think really just a decent pair of pliers just to cut the line. Um, you can use, again, a pair of scissors, you can use a knife, basically use whatever you want. So the first thing we want to do with this rig is to take our main line, so that's the 60 pound Asso Ultraflex. I've left it um, tied onto the main spool at the moment, I haven't cut anything. Um, that just makes it easier to uh, size up our rig. So. First of all, I'm going to tie, if I can get this in focus for you. So you want to tie on your swivel first. Um, you can just use a knot for this. Any old knot will do. Most people have their preferred fishing knots. This is just one I've been using for years and it works really, really well. So I'll tie that up. Once it gets into focus, there we go. Let's just tie that up. So now that knot's tied, I'm just going to snip off the tag end. And that's the first bit done. So this swivel here is what our main line is going to attach to. So now we want to make our length of our rig body, which I'm going for about two foot here. So I'm going to cut the line, just like so. So that's now disattached from our Asso Ultraflex there. And to this, we're going to be wanting to add a couple of round beads. One, a swivel, another round bead, so what you should have is your main line swivel a bead, a swivel and a bead and this just runs freely so now we've got that bit done to our other end we want to add another swivel so I'm just going to simply tie this on if anybody wants to know this knot it's uh, quite an easy one and it works really really well never ever had a snap off with it so if you want to learn this one it's just Put it through the swivel, go underneath your main line, form a loop like so, go exactly the same, do the underside again, form another loop, so you've basically got two loops there, look, two loops there, and then this tag end line wants to come underneath those two loops that you've just made, underneath it, pass through those loops and pull out. And that's your knot there. So it's essentially a slip knot, 
Um, so you just tighten that down. Wet it up a bit and seat it. Just like so. Pull it down nice and tight. And there's your there's your knot there. Snip off the tag end. So now what you have is a swivel, a bead and a swivel and a bead which free runs down your line and another swivel at the other end. So so that's just laid down there look, on the table so you can see it nice and easily. So we've got to pick whatever end will be our main line and whatever end will be our lead line. It doesn't really matter. Um, yeah, you just want to pick an end. Now with this £20 weak link, um, this is what our lead link is going to be tied onto. So just cut a small portion of that off. So the idea with this is, if you're going over a wreck and you get stuck, because you'll be vertically jigging this, um, the idea is, is that your lead weight will be onto here. Hopefully this, your lead weight was most likely going to be the thing that gets caught into the wreck. So once that leg gets snagged, this you just give a couple of tweaks and this weak link should hopefully break. I mean, you won't get your lead back, but hopefully you'll get your rig and possibly the fish on the end of it um, as well. So. So to this line, we're just going to add our lead. Just going to tie on the exact same idea with the same knot. So that's that tied up there. Then this just gets tied to our swivel. And you can make this again as long as you want. Um, idea is not to make it too long because. Uh, You'll just have your lead in the wreck and not actually uh, your baits or your side winders. So there we have it. Our lead lead is now tied to our main body. So I've chose to use this hook for demonstration purposes. Um, what you can do, you can use the side winders. Um, they work deadly on a wreck, especially for the pollock and that. So off of this... Um, swivel here you can choose to basically put whatever you want on just going to take a bit of the 60 pound line again cut off a, a fair section probably about a foot and you want to tie this to this swivel Just like so. Snip off that tag end. And there we have it. So there's our piece of running line. And to this, I'm just going to add the hook. So there we have it, the hook's nicely tied on, and this is basically the rig. I'll show you uh, more in detail, um, I'll get it all set out and laid out for you. So this is essentially the idea of the rig, you've got your weak link line here, and this runs up and down. So it covers a bit of ground as well. Um, you don't have to, obviously if you're running these hard into the wrecks, you don't want to be losing a lot of gear, so you don't have to put the beads on. Obviously they just uh, help protect the knots a bit, um, but yeah, you don't have to use them. The weak link line, I don't know whether I can snap this if I get a good hold on it, but the idea is if you're drifting from the top, your lid will be here, it gets caught in a rock, and hopefully there you go, just be able to pull that there, and that'll snap off. I mean you'd lose your lead, but your rig, you'd all get back, and then you just tie on another lead. Uh, again, you can use leads. Uh, we've got a proper little wrecking weight. You can make them out of nuts and bolts. Really, whatever you want to do. So, yeah, that's the nice little rig there. I hope you found this video quite informative. Um, yeah, just a nice little rig to be using there, especially over rough ground as well. You don't have to fish these in a wreck. So, yeah, 
Hope you've enjoyed it. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We'll see you next Saturday for another video. Thank you.